Brooke is the baby of the family, the youngest of four children. Her future was bright. She was a week away from moving into the dorms at the University of Oklahoma. And then one night in May of 2007, our family received a devastating call. Brooke had been in a life-threatening auto accident. We traveled down to see Brooke and be with the family in the hospital. Everything was touch and go, and no one had any idea how things were going to change for her future. Brooke is a fighter, and after spending weeks in critical care and five months in the hospital, she was released to return home. The effects from the accident were life-changing for her and everyone around her. At the time of the accident, I was working as a nurse for Cherokee Nation, never thinking in less than a year I would directly have a hand in helping Brooke. I took a job with my tribe, the Osage Nation, as the manager of the CHR program. Joan, Brooke's mom, reached out to me because she had heard we take people to appointments. Brooke lives in a rural location. Since returning home, the only means of getting to her appointments were through an arduous and expensive process by way of the local ambulance service. The community health representatives are her only means of transportation. Brooke's only time to leave her home is with us, the CHRs. Our entire tribe in Osage County is rural. We cover vast lands that stretch over 1.4 million acres. Joan told us she wouldn't know what to do without the community health representatives. She told me, you treat her like a person, like a human being, not someone that can't think or doesn't have feelings. She expressed that her and Brooke's contact with the CHRs is her way to stay up to date with what is happening at the tribe and the other programs offered. Otherwise, she would never know. A statement she made resonated with me. The community health representatives are more than just a transport. The community health representatives began in the 1970s and is the oldest program within Osage Nation. The CHRs represent the pillars of our people, family, culture, language, health, and our jurisdictional lands. Brooke's story is a glimpse of her life, just one of the lives of our Wajaje people. The CHRs have served generations and generations of Wajaje families on our homelands. The community health representatives have taken care of our relatives in the past. We take care of our people today and will continue to take care of our people in the future.